Hello everyone. Um, it's, um, it's my pleasure today to demonstrate um, one of the most important topics uh, which appeared in the last couple of years, uh, which is the online learning uh, and how to motivate students during the online learning. Uh, I'm Hendi Yassin, a lecturer in the Department of Medical Biochemistry and Molecular Biology um, Alexandria Faculty of Medicine and I'm presenting uh, this uh, topic on behalf of uh, my um, ML Web uh, team, uh, Group 6, uh, supervised by Professor Dr. Abir Siddiq, um, with the contribution of the Year 2 fellows, uh, Dr. Ines Ali, uh, Dr. Usama Abbas, Dr. Salwa Awad, and Year 1 fellows, uh, Dr. Shireen Nusair and uh, Dr. Suzy Gohar. Uh, the main objectives included in this lecture uh, to identify the importance of the students' motivation in online learning and then to identify the factors which motivate the online teaching, including five main factors, the student's participation, the role of instructors, online learning environment, technical infrastructure, and the online learning process. Uh, during the uh, 10 minutes uh, time of the video, uh, I wish to cover uh, these factors briefly. Uh, all of the studies uh, concluded that motivation in online learning is a complex phenomenon and it's mainly affected by the individual traits and the specific context. The motivation which activates the students who want to learn more and more is the main component of the learning environment and the studies suggested that the concept of motivation is closely associated with the engagement and that the motivation must be ensured in order to achieve this engagement. In order to uh, study the most important factor uh, of the online learning, which is the student motivation, we have just to remember that the motivation is mainly two factors, intrinsic and extrinsic. Those, was discussed, this, those were discussed uh, in the uh, last two weeks of this module. However, the intrinsic motivation is related to the internal energy. That means the self-determination, the self-requirement for learning. While the extrinsic motivation, this is the external factors. That means, for example, the achievement of uh, a grade, the earning of a certain degree, and so on. Those extrinsic and intrinsic motivation very important to be well known in order to understand the uh, following factors. The factors which control the uh, online motivation. First, the student participation. Actually, students, those are the critical members of the workforce. And when it comes to students, we have to say there should be an inspiring motivation. Learners who are intrinsically motivated are more likely to accept the learning course more than those who are externally motivated. And this is very important. To increase the student participation, there, is, there are some learning management systems or LMS. The learning management system is a software which gives an opportunity for the students in order to participate by creating an adaptive environment. Actually, the learning management system are designed to identify the training and learning gaps and they use, uh, for, for this purpose, they use different reporting system, they use analytical data and the statistical methods in order to reach a conclusion for the continuous improvement. The platform um, has a, 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 the platform has an online content including courses, post synchronous and asynchronous based contents. And in higher education, the uh, LMS platforms offer classroom in management. Uh, this is in order to reach uh, something which is called the instructor-led training or even a flipped classroom with the students. The modern uh, learning management system include intelligent algorithm and this intelligent algorithm makes um, automated recommendation for the courses based on the user's skill profile 
uh, based on extraction of the metadata and this all data these all data uh, are um, targeted for improving the contents and increasing the motivation of the students in uh, the united states uh, the higher education market of spring 2021 the top three uh, learning management system uh, were canvas canvas used by harvard uh, the blackboard uh, and Moodle. And it was found uh, that worldwide, uh, with Moodle having over 50% of the market a share in Europe, uh, Latin America, uh, even in Egypt, um, many of the portal systems of the universities uh, are based on Moodle. So, the attractive form and the content of the online courses, the ability of the interaction with peers, uh, very important to enhance student participation. The second point, here comes the instructors. The instructors should provide positive and regular feedback, interaction between the teachers and student and teacher engagement and enjoyment at the same time. Because of the fact that in the online teaching there is no face-to-face -face contact, so the feedback here is extremely significant. Instant feedback, interaction with the classmates, providing written or um, verbal phrase, identifying fewer mistakes, remembering the students' strengths, and concentrating on what is good about this work. This is very important, as when the instructor appreciates the students' efforts in completing assignments, this is very inspiring to learn more and more, and studies also, instructors who are passionate about their topics, about their assignments, they have positive feelings and passionate interest in their approach in teaching, and they always, um, they are always aiming for uh, improving their attitude and uh, improving the achievement of uh, their students. The third point is about the learning environment. We talked about the uh, student participation, and then the instructors. Here comes to the online learning environment. The online learning environment should be flexible, deliverable, freedom, uh, um, freedom should be provided, and learning independent. The, according to many surveys, there were found um, the researchers uh, came to a term which is called uh, the self-paced learning. The self-paced learning means that the student can learn in his own time, in his own schedule, and at his own speed. This will provide greater flexibility, allow the student to take the time to digest the knowledge. Uh, the students can view the online lectures at their comfort and also the convenience of time, no pressure, um, provide less distraction, uh, post the learner satisfaction and also um, suitable for the different uh, learning distances and increase the academic performance. How can we apply the self-paced learning? This is an interesting question. The online tools help to apply the self-paced learning in the organization, different organizations. They can enable the lecturer to create and host the training materials so the student can access today's training materials at their convenience. That means you can, the lecturer can um, record the in-person training sessions and publish them online. So, the online training academy, where all the training materials are available for the student to access at any time, this can provide the optimum self-paced learning for the students. However, to control this amazing learning environment, the deadlines can be, um, can be provided, they can be determined for those courses. Useful resources to help the de designing uh, self-paced learning, those are two websites, uh, or two, uh, uh, two websites which provide uh, two important uh, articles about this self-paced learning. And there is an interesting website, which is the e-learning industry, uh, which provide uh, um, interesting tools for the self-paced learning. The fourth point is about the technical infrastructure. When we are talking about a lecture in the university, the, um, we, we, we have to provide the, um, the setting with a board, 
with uh, um, um, a source of uh, data show or whatever, uh, with markers and so on. But here, when we come to an online learning, the real challenge here is the e-learning environment or the technical infrastructure. The technical infrastructure, we mean it should be accessible and the technological devices should be ready. So we have to provide an online equipment uh, such as a laptop, smartphone, strong Wi-Fi connection, enough internet access, and studies revealed that technology-rich classroom supported learners provide better results for, um, uh, for the academic achievement of students even more than the leaf sessions. Also for the student, as we said, um, the student who, who go to the exam with a pencil, with a rubber and so on, in the online learning, he has to provide proper internet connection um, uh, to be ready for these uh, sessions. Lastly, we have to talk about the online courses and two, um, two important uh, uh, things which we have to consider. First, the content development and then the content delivery. About the content development, this is a continuous process of the planning, analysis, design and development together with the evaluation. About the content delivery, we have to consider administration, marketing and maintenance uh, all along with proper evaluation for the proper delivery. There are two learning processes which are innovative terms. The first one is the breeze environment. Simply, the breeze environment means that there is a synchronous online course format. Should be provided in the breeze environment, there should be a synchronous online course format. About one and a half hours per week. Number two, there, there, are, there is interaction among students, instructors, contents and documents through sharing of the oral and written communication. The third point in this previous environment that at the beginning of the course, the face-to-face -face meeting between the students and tutor is done. That's uh, for informing the students about the frame of the online course the written documents on the course web page, the technical information, and so on. Um, actually, some of the activities and teaching um, activities, uh, such, such as the, the homework, the discussion, uh, discussion forum will be available uh, for uh, 24 hours to, 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 in, to enforce and to um, guarantee a 24 hour reflection uh, for the students um, should be available uh, in the breeze environment. The second one, which I personally experienced in one of the online courses um, in a university approved, is the two instructor model. Two instructor model, very simple, that there is a first and second instructor, instructors. This model was developed by researchers in 2009, in which the first instructor provide voice, text messages uh, for the students and is responsible mainly for the visual contact with the classroom. Then comes the second instructor, who is responsible only for the text messages. No uh, visual contact with the classroom. He is responsible for joining the virtual classroom as a mentor, responsible for text messaging, uh, giving feedback, answering questions, uh, provided extra information uh, if um, certain uh, documents, uh, certain assignments need to be shared in the chat. He is responsible for all that. A uh, answering questions written in the chat, the, he is responsible for that um, aspect. So the first instructor will be concentrating on the visual contact. These two instructor model is a very effective uh, model. This is just to demonstrate uh, the study. Uh, with different factors uh, voting, the students voted for the different factors which they believe that it affects uh, the um, uh, motivation on the online courses. Um, um, this is in a descending order. Uh, first, the themes and sub-themes and the learning teaching process and the freedom, um, uh, freedom of discussion and learning during the online course, giving feedback and correction uh, immediately. Uh, those are the tops on the list. At the end, um, we hope that our students will thank us for helping them to learn at home. We are all connected. Uh, thank you so much.